Welcome everybody to the BNI Talks webinar. My name is Steve Tenuzo, your host, and I am joined today by Jenny Butts and Jay Lucas, all about lifelong learning for business and, and for life. And so what I love about this is, of course, this is my favorite BNI core value, lifelong learning, but I've got two big brains on with me, two of my favorite people. Well, Truth be told, I just met Jay about a week and a half ago, but I, <laughs> but I, like, him I like him already. Jenny and I, uh, we go way back as you know. Yeah. So Jenny, why don't you introduce yourself and then toss it over to Jay. Try. In case there are maybe three people who haven't gotten an email from me or don't know who I am. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am Jenny Butts. I'm the director of training for the US. And I used to be a high school teacher. I taught high school French and English. And then I was a tutor for a company, that's how I got my membership in a BNI chapter, and that was my transition into the glorious life that I live now in the spotlight of BNI. <laughs> so I am so excited to incorporate my past career, my current career, on today's topic. And I want to introduce Jay Lucas, who is here. We have a kind of celebrity for this topic today. I and agree. I want to introduce Jay, who is a member of the chapter that we think Steve and I think probably has the best possible name, uh, BNI of the Tiger in Little Rock, Arkansas. And he is a chapter success coach and also a member. And we have him on here today because he is number one on everybody in the world on BNI Business Builder. He has taken more courses and known more. So he knows a lot about that. He is going to be able to help us navigate that. Jay, why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are and your BNI journey? Well, I'm uh, I'm a geek. I'm a computer guy, uh, <laughs> engineer before I was a geek, before I did computers. Uh, and I got talked into BNI by some of my clients six years ago, joined. Uh, and then BNI University came on, now BNI Business Builder. And I like information. I, I, I deconstruct processes. I like to know how things work. And so I started consuming information. And there was a lot of information out there. Uh, a lot of it's very good. And then I became competitive <laughs> and I wanted to keep going. <laughs> so I had, I had a similar aspiration to that, but I gave up after like three weeks. I'm like, how am I supposed to get 30,000 points? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Yeah. To give, to give some perspective, Jay is number one. I am 4,909th. I'm only like, how many did I just, I, I am, I only need 49,000 points to catch up with. <laughs> Right yeah, there, Jenny. Right there. You got him. No. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I, I run it when I'm doing other things. I'll, I'll play BNI podcasts or webinars while I'm doing paperwork or I'm fixing yeah. a computer or something like that. Instead of listening to whatever bubblegum rock is on the radio, uh, I, I put this on. And so it, it just goes along. And yes, I, I do stop them. I do go back and replay them. If I'm working and thinking about something else pretty hard and I hear some snippet that I really want to pay attention to, I'll pause it and go back. So there are some, you know, 10 minute podcasts that took me two hours to complete because I was busy. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, let's not leave with that. That it could be more efficient. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we are definitely going to come back to asking you some more questions. Um, but I wanted to kind of lay the groundwork, if I may, if I may just take over here, Steve. Yeah, that's, that's so why you're on. That's what I do. Yeah. Um, we wanted to talk a little bit about the motivation for why we would want to continue learning, maybe when we're done with high school or college or a specific certification, because it is one of our core values and it matters. We know from all kinds of studies throughout the years, but these two in particular, that People with more education, directly related, related to their field or otherwise, people with more education tend to make more money and have a lower unemployment rate. So that's true. You know, we all think of going to high school or college or whatever that is, and we say, now my education is finished and then I do my career. And, and that's what this speaks to is to say, I will prepare and whatever that profession is, the higher education you have, the fewer people who can do it and the more people are willing to pay. Now, I know you will say that there are exceptions to this, and absolutely they are. We just know as a general rule, this is true in professions. 
But just because your education, your formal education comes to an end for your profession, doesn't necessarily mean that your learning should end. In fact, it should not. And there are lots and lots of benefits to continuing that learning in lots of areas. So let's look at just a few of them. I'm sure none of them will be very surprising to you. But, but this one was a little surprising to me that you will have better relationships, more satisfying relationships. You become, when you become a learner, you appreciate things in a different way. You also are able to adapt to change more easily. And in studies of a hundred year olds, the one thing that most of them have in common is an ability to adapt to change. And if, especially if you think of the last 100 years, how much change there's been in the world, you have to be able to adapt in order to survive and outlive probably a lot of the people you know. So that is an important thing to have for longevity. In addition, learning more things give us, gives us more perspectives. So we have an open mind and we're more likely to engage in conversations differently. And isn't that something we need right now. Also learning, whether or not you're learning about a healthy body, learning will help you have a healthy body. And that was a surprising one for me to discover and also a very happy surprise. And then finally, this is a logical result of increased learning is you are, you become more curious. Learning begets more learning. And so as we find out we want what we learn something interesting and we like it, it makes us hungry and we want to learn more things. And so the cycle continues. Very specifically for business, and this was an interesting blog from Cornerstone University, obviously we get more information. But when we do continuing education in lots of fields or interesting things that don't have to do with our jobs, we just know more. And I know that doesn't seem like it bears to, to stating, but in fact, if you are working for someone, knowing more things makes you a valuable employee. And if you're an entrepreneur, it makes you a valuable person that people, your clients will appreciate. Also, as we keep learning, we're going to interact with people and learn different soft skills like communication or team building. Those kinds of things aren't often in our certifications or our formal education for our jobs, but learning those things are very, very helpful. Things like emotional intelligence in certain fields. And those are the things we can pursue our whole lives because we're not done. We just can keep getting better and better. Also, if you think about any commercials you may have seen for online universities and you see the single mom who's up late with the glow of her laptop and her little kids sleeping on her lap and she's really trying to make a way for herself by getting the certification, you can see a picture of what that does to us when we have a job and family, it's one thing, add pursuing some sort of a degree, you have to manage your time well and persevere. Those are good skills to have in any form of our education or in our professions after we get that education. And just like learning begets more learning, success begets more success. So if you think I completed this course, I did this thing, I think I could get that client I was afraid to approach. I think I can do the things I was a little bit less confident about before. And that is going to serve us well in lots of ways in business. And finally, because we are BNI, this is a favorite of mine. When you continue to learn, not only do you meet people who are also doing the same thing, but the things you learn make really great conversations in networking. What is a course you've taken? What webinars have you listened to? What podcasts do you listen to? And those are good conversations to attract other learners and that can lead to more business for us as well. This is, this is from a teacher. Now, what does that mean for BNI? A CEU is a chapter education unit. So you can pursue these in small bites or in big bites. But these are the kinds of things that we make available to you at no extra cost with your membership so that you can continue to be a thriving member in your chapter and maximize the experience in your chapter for your business. And this is one of the places I wanted to bring Jay into the conversation because I know Jay, you have talked about this in an email that you have been sending out for quite some time that has to do with this. And could you tell us a little bit about this email and how people might be able to partake in it? Yeah, you know, two years ago, uh, one of the last in-person meetings before the pandemic, uh, there was a goals workshop locally uh, on that. And instead of 
saying how much thank you for closed business or how many visitors we're going to have for the year, I talked my chapter, my personal chapter, into setting education as the goal, figuring that if you learned more, it would solve a lot of problems. Uh, and so they agreed, and we were all going to be 20 points in there. The caveat was that they insisted that I put out something every week to help them get a CEU every week. So this be, started a, an email. Since then, it's grown to where I'm sending it to members in, I think, a dozen states in three countries. Uh, and uh, they take it as I add more to it. They've gotten better over time. But I define, again, a, I make a definition of the CEU. I put one CEU's worth of material in it, and I put a definition that it's approximately one hour of BNI training, just like everybody's supposed to know about this. And that can be by Dr. Meiser's books, which are worth five. Uh, some of the books he recommends can count as well. Uh, you can do live webinars or in-person uh, trainings. You can do podcasts such as Dr. Meisner's or Tim Roberts or yours, Jenny's, the no uh, networking is no joke, uh, BNI TV. Uh, there's a number of resources that can be done at. What isn't a CEU is other non-professional network type training. If you're in another profession that gives you training that is applicable to networks, their training doesn't count as a CEU for you, just like your BNI training won't count as a continuing education unit for them. You have to keep that in mind. And the same thing with the, the rotaries and the Toastmasters and stuff like that, it's great. You should get there. You should use their resources and become better, but their trainings don't count as CEUs for you. This is about learning more about BNI and how BNI works and how to have better relationships, not about uh, networking in a specific field. I love that. Yeah, thank you. And we've had lots of requests here in the uh, in the chat about how people can get subscribed, how they can get that email. So if there's a, I think at the end we have a slide for your e with your email and contact information. Yes, you is can that send that. And you can request. I will, uh, it's an opt in only. Uh, I, I'm not going to send anybody who doesn't ask for it. Although I do allow chapter leadership team and chapter uh, success coaches to opt in their chapters if they decide mm -hmm. that they need to have their whole chapter have it then they can ask for it and, I, and give me the list and I'll send it to everybody in the chapter, but it must be somebody who has authority for the chapter. So. Yeah, so that's great. That's, I mean, talk about really spoon feeding the CEUs it, it is. for it your is. power. I give links so to great. material on BNI Business Builder. You can just go click and, and away you go. Yeah, okay. Well, let's talk a little bit about, uh, if we go to the next slide, we'll talk about how we can find some of those opportunities if we don't happen to already be getting Jay's email. Uh, and one of them is the one that you're participating in now. And I can see from the chat that lots of you are here most Fridays, if not all Fridays. We have some regular people. So you have on your calendar this time every Friday and you're getting a CEU each week. That's gonna put you in the green and the power of one for that and will continue to expand your mind, give you healthy bodies and expanded networks. We also have the second Wednesday of the month a DEI panel discussion. So that will happen next Wednesday. And we are going to be celebrating Women's History Month. And so that is happening uh, every second Wednesday of the month. And we also have the second Tuesday and fourth Wednesday, first year member essentials. This is kind of a reboot of something that used to be called new member onboarding. And we are helping your brand new members to your chapters learn what they need to be successful in your chapter as quickly as possible. You know, it's kind of like a fire hose with all of the acronyms, the definitions and the websites and the apps. So we try to help them make a little bit of sense of that. So check your regional website for those. Some uh, the BNI talks and the DEI panel are uh, for everybody in the US. The first year member essentials are on the core regional calendar. So if you are in a region that has a managing director, then that is what we are doing for the first year member essentials. If you are in a region where you have an executive director and you have some questions about that, feel free to let me know. We can have, uh, you can get my contact information at the end. So those are some things you can just put on your calendar and have a nice rhythm of CEUs, but there's more. You have access to so much and Jay is gonna help me with this. I'm gonna set this up and he'll give some more talks about this. Because we always, always want to keep, as BNI employees, the mission in front of us that our goal is to help you increase your business. 
I want us to be able to see how we can use BNI Business Builder, not just to help you in your chapter, but also in your business. So you may be looking at a challenge in your business or your chapter, or you're just curious about a topic. And if you are in BNI Business Builder, you can find be not just this, but you can find presentations, podcasts, resources, all kinds of training programs, links to different things, downloadable, all kinds of resources. And I think I've said this on every call I've talked about, this, like hundreds or thousands of hours of things that you would, it has taken Jay a hot minute to get all of the points that he has done in BNI Business Builder, because there is a lot, there is a lot. So let's talk about what that looks like and how you might find things. You may know specifically what you're looking for and you will find like in the resources, I want to go to the BNI talks. Uh, that's where all the recordings of this are. Is that correct, Steve? Unmuted, that is incorrect. Thank you. That is incorrect. <laughs> Currently all of our uh, most recent uh, BNI talks appear on our YouTube channel, BNI Team USA. Okay, but there are other recordings that are in Business Builder. <laughs> there are. <laughs> <Not> that one. <laughs> so, but that's, you can find those in the resources. What I want to um, spend a minute looking at here is how you can find some of these webinars that you want to listen to or courses or different things that you can pursue for learning. So you go into, you can see that top circle BNI Business Builder training, and then you'll see that there are individual presentations a collection of individual presentations will make up a course or a training program. So you can either do a whole thing, like if you wanted to um, go back in and look at all of the recordings that Jeremy Walsh has done on um, the deep dive series for BNI Connect, there are 14 presentations in that. You could enroll yourself into all of those and watch them all or pick and choose, or you can find individual presentations. And as it's loading up, you'll see on the right-hand side, these are all of the different topics. I'm looking in here. So you can see professional development. I pulled that one out. But you also can see where there are podcasts. You can also see if you're looking for something about chapter leadership or team building in general or different things. Your list will probably look different from mine because I am an employee of BNI and you are a member. So you probably have different options than I do. But this is kind of the process that you'll go through. You can see the different topics in different presentations. And then if we go to the next slide, you'll see what it looks like once they all roll out. Again, you may not see these specific presentations. Some of these are director trainings and, and things like that. But you can then choose the one you want to watch, open it up. It may be a training. It may be an interview, maybe something like that. And a lot of times you'll see in these presentations, a little tab that says supplemental materials. And for example, this uh, training video has the PowerPoint that the director used when he did the training. So you can download the PowerPoint, use that for future reference. All of this is available to you through your membership. And there are hundreds of these options of different trainings that you can have. Uh, this seems like a good time. Jay, can you speak into this process and let us know, did you, have you come across any like obstacles you want to be sure you do this, or here's a great path that you might want to take and some suggestions? Yeah, the, the most recent stuff will pop up on your homepage and as suggestions to take. And so that, that becomes easy for there that BNI has put out its, its new material is what it is. Mm -hmm. um, the drop down menus here if you back up a slide you'll see that there is a sub menu it says all active in the gray over there in that little corner that has a drop menu and you can actually choose something like not enrolled and so you can mm -hmm. find things that you haven't taken yet already you can also from when the bni bb training comes down it gives multiple menus you can get to the far left and it'll be my trainings and things that have been assigned to you will show up under required there's another drop menu that you can do there. So you can find those that have been done. And there's a spot for things that you've started and not completed. So there are several drop menus that help find these things. One failing of this is that uh, BNI search engine is a flat search. It's very specific. It is not a Google. It is not a Bing. It is not a great search thing. So you want to use really as few 
text characters as you can to find your material because it's literal. It's extraordinarily literal. Mm. So, you know, think when you're looking for something about it, about how you would do that. That's being actively worked on. BNI has hired someone to help that out and improve the search engine and, and make everything more uh, accessible and easier for non-geeks <laughs> to find. Uh, and uh, so that, that should change and be greatly enhanced, just like the, the app has been enhanced for us here uh, soon. Uh, I don't know what their timeline is, but I know it is being actively worked on. So. Yeah, that's true. Because I do think intuitively, we want to just type in the search bar and have something come up. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it could be a frustrating experience for the reasons that you're just mentioning here, Jay. So instead, if you see, if you pop up something that's suggested, if you're a new member, you should find your member success program immediately when you log into your homepage because that's been assigned to you. And, uh, and, and you type member success and it'll show up. Yeah. You know, right. So. Right. Otherwise, you have the different options, different categories. So you can do a search for something either in, if you're a chapter leader, maybe you're the president of your chapter or you're the education coordinator. You can go into education moments and you can find suggestions for education moments. Um, there are lots and lots of categories you can choose from. And to have the list here is sometimes a little bit easier because you could go, oh, yeah. I didn't know I wanted that. But that's kind of interesting. Let me click on that one. So that's, yeah, th those, so that's basically how you find different things. This is cursory, of course. There is in BNI Business Builder, this feels a little meta, but there is in BNI Business Builder, a course that Jeremy Walsh did in his deep dive series called BNI Business Builder Basics. And so you can, you can watch that and get your CEU and then learn how better to navigate for future CEUs. Uh, he does a very good job of doing the yeah, basics. Yeah, and his his whole deep dive series is great, and, and you really should take them. It's 30 minutes more or less of training, and then he stays on and takes questions, answers yeah. things for as long as people want to ask questions. So, yeah. you know, taking it live is is very good. And currently, it's Thursdays at 11 a.m. Central Time. Mm -hmm. There's still three or four left in this current run uh, on things, and you can listen to them all, but you can learn a lot. Uh, yeah. And, and, and I actually recommend specifically a couple of them. You know, do the profiles one. It's one that, that everybody in BNI seems to get wrong is that their profiles aren't right and are completed. And yeah. you know, it shows you where to click everything to make sure that all the information shows up and what you need to put in. If you don't do any others, do that one. <laughs> yeah, well, and I, and I do think this is the prime example. The reason that we have this topic today is this is a prime example of something that comes with your membership that a lot of people are unaware of. And the best... Um, the best example I can think, of, the analogy that I think of is if you would, if you joined a gym and all you did every day was free weights and you didn't know that there was a yoga studio and that they have Zumba classes and there was a pool and you could also do Pilates in a different place, but all you did was the one thing. And yes, it takes a little bit of effort to explore and maybe you need a tour of the gym, but there are so many pieces of your membership that you pay for that I think many members are unaware of. And this is one of them. You can learn more to earn more. That's yeah. what we say well, a lot, right? And it or can or worse, you. join the gym and sit on the sofa and watch TV and <laughs> gain no muscles at all. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Or that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is what some members do, Jay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you know, engage, learn, you know. It, it, you know. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yes. Uh, okay. So then let's go to the next slide so you can see some places you just want to be aware of some different websites, some different social media places. And these are going to be also opportunities for you to find, like Steve was saying, the uh, Team USA YouTube channel is where you can find BNI Talks. Uh, and, and after we cover this slide, I'm gonna come back to you, Jay, and ask you to talk a little bit about how what you have done here is actually in, impacting your business. Mm -hmm. But I just, oh, this is a slide from yesterday. So it has my, web, my Facebook page for my region here in the Seattle area, but you all have one. BNI Northwest is Facebook page. So if you go into Facebook and do BNI and then your region, you will find your Facebook page a lot of the stuff that is on the BNI USA Facebook page also goes there. BNI USA has an Instagram you will probably want to follow and keep up to date on things like that. And then we have a couple of YouTube channels. One is for BNI USA, one is for BNI Global. 
But if you're following, you know, you click the little follow thing on social media uh, to do Facebook or Instagram with BNI USA, you'll be current on a lot of the things, including a couple that we will be mentioning uh, here coming up. But this is an, just an alternative way. You can do BNI Business Builder. You can be a part of the live events that we're doing. You also can just be following these things. There are videos there you can watch. I've done several training videos for visitor hosts and those kinds of things. If you didn't come to a live event and there's a recording somewhere, that will be part of your CEUs that you can log. So lots and lots of places for you to look. The goal being let me learn how to be a good BNI member so that it will help my business grow. Always, 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 we want you to do what you're doing with BNI so that it will help your business. And so, very specifically, I wonder, Jay, do you have some, some things to say about how um, your specific learnings or learning in general has affected your IT business? Yeah, the, it helped a lot by making me less insulated, less isolated mm. on things. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm a guy who works on equipment and it doesn't have to deal and interact with people. And I did that a lot of years and it's a big shortcoming on my part. It's a weakness that I recognized and BNI has helped tremendously on that. Uh, the other things it's done is often uh, explaining in highly repetitive, minute detail the importance of why I should be doing things that I knew I should have been doing all along, but never gave the time to, never justified or prioritized the time. And it just re-emphasizes that you need to do the little things over and over again until they become second nature uh, right. and help with the interactions on things. Uh, you know, and I has helped me become a better communicator with my clients and be able to do more than just a one-on-one, -on -one, which I was pretty good at. But with a group, I did not do so well at. Uh, I'm not a social butterfly by any stretch of the means. And uh, so this has been a very good experience along those lines. It, you know, it shows in the comfort I feel with speaking with clients and with speaking with groups. Uh, and. and it, it gives a better experience for everyone. Yeah. So you are highly motivated because this, you've already seen the benefits. How do you, I know you said that you listen um, to certain things going on while you're doing maybe desk work or something. How do you, how do you suggest people get into kind of a cadence for learning or putting it on their calendars or doing something so they can move toward that lifelong learning? Well, Podcasts are easy, uh, mm -hmm. the low hanging fruit. Uh, and it's there's a number of them out there. Jenny's podcast, Dr. Meiser's podcast, Hazel Walker's podcast, Tim Roberts' podcast, other podcasts that are BNI related. Uh, and you can listen to these to and from work. Uh, so they add up over time uh, on these things. You can also, you know, if you wanted to, with like minded individuals, get together and all sit down and listen to a few podcasts and then have a discussion about it. And you can learn together, uh, sort of a, a once a month type of thing. You should get together as a social event as much as anything else. But you, you spend a few minutes and you're learning and you're educating yourselves and you're becoming more familiar with everyone as you go along. Some of the trainings you need to pay attention to because they make you click periodically and answer questions and take right. tests. It, it, so you can't do that while you're driving and, but they're not long and you can break these up 15 or 20 minutes at a time is not uh, excessive as far as finding a hole in your schedule somewhere to do this. Mm -hmm. I would recommend taking some time, say every day of the week or, or regular intervals, but say this 15 or 20 minutes on my schedule is for BNI. And whether yeah. it's that you're going to be listening to uh, material on, on Business Builder and training yourself or thinking hard about the referrals or making appointments for one-to-ones or doing other things, but set it on your calendar and do that work for that. It's just like any other good appointment that you have that's going to help you learn and go through and schedule that. And perhaps you do it off hours. You know, this to be effective, it, it does take some extra time outside of your job one. Uh, and, and it does require dedication and effort. As Jenny said earlier, it's a gym membership. You get out of it what you put into it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's part of what I've learned also on there is that I got that reinforced as I went on. I have to admit, I was not a good member when I started. 
I was a heck of a box checker, but uh, I was not a good member. <laughs> uh, and, and it clicked. And now I'm a, a very strong advocate uh, of the process. Yeah, I, th I think there are probably a lot of people who are long term members or directors I talk to who will say I was not a very good member early on because we didn't know I was not yeah. a good member. Yeah. Um, but as we learn more, we get better at different things. And I think our calendars are king, right? If it's not on yes. the calendar, it's not going to happen. And if we've got marketing our business on the brain, and that's why we joined our BNI chapter, there's a system we pay for as a membership. There's a system that's been successful around the world. And we can take advantage of that system to push our business where we want it to be. So it, it does need to be on the calendar, one-to-ones, learning, planning your weekly presentations, all of it fits into the marketing plan that you want to. Yeah, you, you need on. to do these things and, and put in the, the time. You know, people think B and I, like other types of things, you, you show up, you say hello, and you get business, you get referrals. Well, that's not what B and I really is. Mm -hmm. It's, mm -hmm. it's about becoming educated in the nuances of relationships, uh, specifically business relationships. Uh, and helping you get along. And, and the, the university, the BNI Business Builder, is a platform that allows you to learn and train on your own time at your own schedule. You yeah. can pick whatever it is. You got a sleepless night and want to get up and do something, then there you go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, there might uh, be a live webinar in Europe you can take place, yeah. <laughs> you can take so, part in. Uh, and, and yeah, 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 I guess you could drop in live on some other time zone. <laughs> But yeah, they're yeah. going somewhere, but, uh, you know, or if you speak a foreign language, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of foreign languages, you have done the MSP in more than one language. How many languages have you done that? I think it's eight, uh, <laughs> French, Spanish, Italian, Brazilian, Portuguese, Swedish, Romanian, Vietnamese and English. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and are they all the same? Yes. Uh, the, the material is the same. The questions are ordered sometimes differently and stuff. Uh, the translations can get kind of spooky. You can't, and it's not so simple. You, you can't grab text from a BNI presentation. It's locked down for copyright reasons. You yeah, can't, yeah. You can't cut and paste it into a translator. So you have to figure things out. And my language skills are limited to one year of German and three years of French back in the 70s, a long time. So it, it took real effort uh, to do this, uh, and, and you and it's not available anymore. It was a loophole I took advantage of that uh, oh. has been closed. <laughs> oh, too bad, everybody. You can't. Do that. That's next level stuff. Yeah, but uh, not for but, everybody. Uh, but, but that was when I, I I came up short. I had literally consumed everything on B and I Business Builder. There was no more material to take, and I was fourteen points out of ninth place, and it irritated me. <laughs> and I went looking around for ways to, to do things. And I found out that I could click on the certification of someone in another country who had completed a training and take that training. And so I could, I could translate, if I could figure out what they were just saying, then I could go through it and get the points, but you have to complete it and complete and pass the test. <laughs> Your uh, French teacher would be proud if you did any of those in French, because I was a French teacher, and if I found out any of my students was doing that, uh -huh. I would be <laughs> thrilled. Oh, but, somebody but, asked how many points you have, Jay. Do you know? Because uh, I've got it here, but do you know? A little bit over sixty-five thousand. Uh, uh, That's insane. But, yeah, sixty-five thousand two hundred and seventy-seven. <laughs> Uh, and, and that's that's one minute each time. You only get credit the first time you go through one. So if you review it, they don't add minutes again. So know. You know, the first time you, you take something, you get points for it. And after that, you don't get any more points at all for it. Not that you shouldn't do it again. It's still a CEU if you repeat it. You can mm -hmm. take it a dozen times and you get a dozen CPUs, but you only get points once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you, if you happen to be a little competitive, you yeah, could be like Steve and me way, way, way in the back and Jay has lapped us a hundred times, but we're still trucking. <laughs> that, that's what it became at some point. It was competitive at, at that point. I, I, and like I said, I, I was frustrated and I don't like frustration uh, that, I, that I was stuck. So I found yeah. a way around it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sure people are going to have questions. I see them coming up in the chat, but why don't we go through the rest of the slides we have, Steve, and just let people know even more, more options. Well, um, here's our favorite. 
You think? The <laughs> <laughs> logo's yes. not big enough, Jenny. I know. Uh -huh. I wanted that one to be big. Uh, yeah, this obviously, Steve and I plug this every opportunity that we can. Um, we are having so much fun recording these. And I think the one that is coming out today or tomorrow might be one of our best. Uh -huh. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy in networking. Don't be that guy. Uh, so ours, our, our podcast, as you may have heard a thousand times, is about networking in general, but not BNI specific. But because we work for BNI, of course, you can use these this for your uh, CEUs. Mm -hmm. These other two podcasts are very BNI specific. You may have heard of Dr. Ivan Meisner. He knows a thing or two. He's been called the father of modern networking. And he knows a thing or two. And he does probably 10 or 12 minute podcasts. So you want to bunch those up to get your CEUs. And the Power of One podcast is done by Tim Roberts, who was a national director and is now an executive director of a region in New Hampshire and one in Florida. So he knows a lot about BNI as well. And these, you can subscribe to these and listen to these each week. And those are going to be great ways for you to do CEUs while you're driving. Steve, why don't you talk about how much fun this is? Well, okay. in honor of National Grammar Day does make sense. And yesterday being World Book Day. And the day, two days before that, my birthday. Oh, that slipped in again. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have a book club and it is growing like crazy. Uh, Jenny and I just thought, well, why don't we try this out and see what happened? We put it up on Facebook and we've got, what, do we have 500 people on that Facebook page now, Jenny? Somewhere between four and 500, I bet. Yeah, yeah it's growing amazingly well. Uh, we are doing this book, The Four Disciplines of Execution, for our discussion on March 30th. Um, this is something that we use in BNI. Um, I've read this book um, and had to go back to it a few times to get it right because once you lock into this amazing mm -hmm. system, it keeps you so accountable and so on track, you can knock off all of those goals that you need to accomplish. So if you haven't uh, read this, uh, or even if you have read it, please join our discussion. Uh, on March 30th, we do breakouts and we also do a regular um, discussion of, of the book and you know what we learned from it. And you'll really get some great takeaways from it. And I just put the link for the Zoom into the chat. So if you are not on Facebook or you just can't be bothered to be part of that discussion, uh, you can join us on Zoom. And this is not just for BNI members. We would love for you to invite your non-members to come and join us because yeah. that might be a way for you to open the door to a conversation for them to invite, to invite them to your chapter and then everybody wins. So yeah, that's why we've got this on Facebook. We have some people that just stumbled across it and, and they're, they're there now for each discussion. So yeah. Yeah. So good. All right. So many things to celebrate. How about this one? How about this one? Our national conference is taking place next month. I can't believe it's the beginning of March now. So we could say it's next month because we've been planning this for months and months and months. Uh, a lot of members don't know that our national conference is something members can attend. And especially since the last one was all online, we wanted, and it's made it possible for not only more members to participate, but also non-members to participate. So this year we are having a live option as well as an online option. And our keynote speaker is Linda Clemens, who was one of our speakers at the global convention last fall. And if you took part in that, that was all online. You, she was one of our speakers and a favorite of a lot of people. So she is going to be our keynote speaker in San Diego. And if you want to, do we have a, a slide with some prices? Is that the next slide, Steve? Well, let's find out. <laughs> if it would go, click, there we are, nope. nope. Okay, well, if you go to BNIUSEvents.com, you will be able to find the pricing. They have just decided this week to extend early bird pricing indefinitely. So the prices are what the prices are and they have online registration as well as in-person registration in case you are looking for a sunny getaway or if you're already in California and you would like to just drive over and hang out with everybody, that will be fun. We also have some great breakout session speakers, all of that is listed on the website, but I, uh, we wanted to be sure we mention it because that would be a lot of CEUs. <laughs> if you yeah. went to a conference, you could, you could just take care of all of the summer practically, but it's a great learning opportunity. And we specifically target 
topics and speakers who will help your business, not just this is how you run a meeting or this is how to be a good BNI member. These are good for business. So if you're looking for, I'm, my husband and I are going to go to Palm Springs after this and take a vacation. So here's an excuse to have a vacation and have some fun while you're learning. Just you know, wanted to make sure that you know, was Linda good. spoke at the global convention also, and, and she was very good there. Uh, and as were the others, and you're right, they were geared more towards business and stuff on there. Uh, you know, uh, but yeah, yeah the, and, and all, if you sign up for the convention, you get access for a year, uh, right. virtual. So right you come back through it and review it. Yeah. That's a, that's a great point that you can, you can pay one time. And if you can't make all of it, it is hard to spend two full days on your computer if you're doing a virtual option, but you could go back and lis listen to the recordings later once you've registered. So that's a cool option. Yeah. It's especially helpful since uh, sometimes there are more than one presentation going on at the same time. Yeah. I, I did that for the global. Uh, I went through after over several days, a couple of weeks. So. Great. Yeah. So all many right. options. So many. Here we are. Is it time for some Q&A? It is. It's Q&A time. All right. So, Jay, um, a lot of people in the chat uh, and in questions have asked uh, about um, getting connected to your email. Yep. There it is. On the, I see it on the screen. That you will got it? Me. Okay. So, please <laughs> save that chat if you would. <laughs> yeah, you can send it to either one of them. Uh, my BNI email and my business email are, are both there. There so. you go. Yes, please uh, do that rather than just throw it in the chat because that would be a lot of uh, searching for Jay. Uh, okay, where is the book list that count as CEUs? Jenny, your favorite question. Um, well, I don't know that. The, is there a book list? I think it is just. If, is there, there is. It's called by Ivan Meisner. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's the official list. All of our Dr. Ivan Meisner books are, are CEU worthy. However, we there are, are like 27 of them, right? There's a lot. Yeah. yeah. And we are also including our books that we read on uh, the business book club as well. Yes. We just decided that, didn't we? We did. And, it's and if you a little go bit through, of a cheat. It's unofficial, but you know what? It's good. And, and in Dr. Miser's podcast, he will recommend books sometimes, uh, and True. those will count as well, the ones that he specifically recommends in the podcast. So you've got a little flexibility on that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Can you send an email out on, oh, there we go. It's Jay again. Whoops. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, can we access the book club at a later time? Our chapter meets at the same time. So Jenny, are we recording any of these talks yet? The book club? Yes. Well, we've only had two. Mm -hmm. And when we have one had way more people than the other one did. And when right. we have a lot of people, we do most of our discussion in breakout rooms, which mm -hmm. is impossible to record. So uh, it's, yeah. it seems unlikely that we will record them because the part of being in a book club is that you are having the discussion and you can't be in multiple breakout rooms at once. I think the good thing though about having the Facebook page for those of you who can't join the discussion is that you can put your thoughts uh, in a, a post on that Facebook group uh, yeah. and then we'll, we'll respond to it and keep that conversation going. And in addition, if there were a bunch of people who couldn't meet at that time, there's no reason why you couldn't set up a Zoom meeting for yourself and say, we're reading the same book, but we can't do it on Wednesday. We wanna have a Saturday morning conversation and see if you can get some people to That's do a cool Saturday idea. time. We wouldn't be there, so it wouldn't be nearly as much fun. True. <laughs> Unless we were invited, because we tend to show up. And then we might come. Yeah. <laughs> we're like vampires. Got to be invited first. I and then we're in. in there asking about points and CEUs. Points are not CEUs. 60 points is a CEU. Mm -hmm. Points are minutes. And also, Jay, the points are cumulative over time, right? They don't ever reset. Correct. So if you are tracking your CEUs by dividing out by 60 to get that number, you have to make sure you remember where you left off. On well, that. It, it, you can, there's a little bit of a help. B and okay. I had the, under the leaderboard section, there is a link or a spot that you can click that says this month and it will show how many points that you got this month. That resets at midnight at the end of every month. So if the last day, you could actually click on that and see how many points you've done that month and divide by 60. And that is CEUs if you have not already entered them. 
so so end of the month way to do it okay but, but yeah there's two yeah. link there's two buttons one says all time and one says this month ah got it and jay can you tell them and, and i say that because i know you can could you could you tell them please where they could find the leaderboard so they can see where this this dashboard is with the information under you open up bni business builder and at the top it says uh my profile mm -hmm. and there's a drop menu and from that drop menu you'll see leaderboard is one of the choices also the certifications is there uh, to where you can see your certificates if you wanted to print any of them out and have them up to where you could display them such as the member success program certificate you could have it out there and for people to see but the leaderboard is is a drop from there once you're on the leaderboard you'll see your name and your points and just to the right of your your headshot, there is a little link for an Excel button right there. If you click that, it will let you, uh, it will download to you an Excel spreadsheet that includes everything that you've done on there and what you've gotten points for. So it'll show something. If you think that you haven't gotten points, you can download that and you can look at it and say, okay, there it is or there it isn't. Uh, but you'll find everything that you've received points for on that spreadsheet. That's crazy. And you can choose if you want to see where you are in the world, you can look at the the, the global leaderboard. You can yeah. also see just in my region, where do uh, I region fit? Are, yeah, yes, you can. You can also look at just your chapter yeah, mm -hmm. and see mm -hmm. where you are in your chapter. And when you click on your chapter, it shows the top 10. So you can see if you have 10 people who are actually doing anything on BNI Business Builder. And you can go back and razz them because you were and they weren't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, there are, yeah uh, lots of ways to feel superior. <laughs> yes, and, and, but really, that's not the point is to go in there and help them oh. and say, this is how it goes. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, you know, but it, it, there is accountability there, just like there isn't a lot of other things in BNI. And that's the way it should be looked at is, is that it's an, an area that you can check accountability in, just like the power of one does in general. Mm -hmm. so, now, that's not the only source of CEUs. So you can't look at it as saying you don't you get to have CEUs because they could have read books, they could have attended your podcast, they can do other things. Right, right. But Business Builder is a source and becoming familiar with it, just like everything else, the more often you use it, the, the easier it will become and right. the more comfortable you will be with it. Uh, you, do, you will find a lot of the material, as I said before, is repetitive. And there's a reason for that. It's building muscle memory. Uh, it, it's the same reason that, that when you started out on a job and you went hey, I, 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 I'm not ever going to get this. I'm never going to understand it. And 18 months later, you're going, what was the big deal? And you're looking at somebody else that says, why don't you understand this? Right. Uh, so right. It, it's it's just a matter of getting comfortable and becoming muscle memory uh, with things. So they, yeah. they tell you the same thing many ways and sometimes in different ways, but it's the same information uh, yeah. and just trying to get you to learn as opposed to just have it float by you. Yeah, we need well, that. Yeah, I had that issue with when I first learned about VCP, someone explained it to me completely wrong. And then There's I heard it equation. like, I don't get it. And then the third time I'm like, ah, oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah. And that was right from the source, uh, Dr. Ivan Meisner's uh, podcast on VCP. So that was there a good one. Go. Okay. So yeah. uh, let's see. Um, how can I copy the link for the meeting registration only? The only option is to select all. I don't know what the context is of, of that one is, Sally, if you could give us a little more clarification. Uh, and then Kara asks, where do you post the points? Oh. In BNI Business Builder, once you complete something, you you they will give you the points in there. But that, I don't think at this point it automatically logs you as a CEO. No, right? the, the only thing that moves from Business Builder to BNI Connect is the member success program. It, it doesn't give you CEUs for it, but it will show that you completed it and give you the little star on your profile when you log in. Mm -hmm. But uh, but there are no CEU calculations from Business Builder to connect. You must right. manually enter them. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't know how to enter, if you're a newer member or you just haven't been in the habit of logging your CEUs and BNI Connect, mm -hmm. um, you will probably want to check with your chapter success coach or your support director or someone on the leadership team, and they'll be able to help you in BNI Connect. You should be able to see on the app. It should be pretty intuitive. Just enter CEUs and that's where you put it in. And, and, and Lynn, you're, you're correct that if you watch the pod, if you listen to the podcast at the, at the website, it does not show up on business builder. Uh, mm -hmm. They are two separate platforms and each one is counts separately. Only what's actually done on business builder shows up on business builder. Yeah. So. 
Right. Yeah. And generally the podcasts are available a few days after Dr. Meisner puts it out on his website. They don't right. always show up immediately. And so the points are great and they're good, especially if you're a competitive person like Jay might be. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I can be when I'm focused on, on doing that. And now, of course, I'm going to become obsessed with it over the weekend and doing nothing but business builder. But for those of you, well, the important thing here is to, tr to track and to log your CEUs because that's what's getting measured on your membership. That's the most important thing. So if you spend an hour on business builder, log in an hour of CEU points of one CEU per hour. Okay. Um, oh, so Sally's having trouble with the links in the chat. That's what that is. Um, I'm not sure which one it is. Though. Oh, okay. I can repost that, Sally. I think I know what you're, I think I know what you're saying. Let me see if I can do that. Right. And so Lynn says, so the points in, in Business Builder only accumulate for those trainings you do within Business Builder. That is correct. And it, it's presentations and trainings. Reading under resources doesn't give you anything other than information and knowledge and a, a feeling of, of satisfaction of having learned something. Yeah, that's uh, a good point. If you download all the manuals and read them, you're not going to get uh, points for that. But I would definitely give yourself CEU time if yes. you read manuals and learning things. Yeah. Reading material is roughly uh, one page, one point a minute a page is what they look at. They're, set, they're thinking about one minute a page is what you'll read at the average person on that. And the general rule of thumb is one point per page of material. Right. Okay. All right, folks, it is 1253. I think we're at the end here. So why don't I just uh, say to those of you who are attending next week's webinar, it is all about what we talked about earlier, which is the our upcoming BNI US National Conference. We have uh, Julia Loomer, who's very excited to be on today and tell you all about that, talk about our speakers and some of the presentations. So this is kind of a, a preview that no one has seen quite yet. And so we're putting it out for you. So make sure you're registered for that one and come on. Well, we're happy to see you on that one. And finally, um, there we are. Here's some CEU math from Jenny. One CEU is one hour of learning, so. I'm not a math person. Yeah. I could do this. This was easy. You could do this one, right? Give yourselves a CEU for this one manually, of course. No points, but you will get a CEU for it. Yeah, Thanks yeah. for being on today, everybody. And uh, we will see you all next week. Jay and Jenny, any final words before we sign off? Uh, I know we're still, some people are still having trouble with the link to register for the book club. We will make sure the link is on the Facebook page mm -hmm. and the link to register is also on regional calendars of core regions. So if you happen to be in a franchise region, go to bninorthwest.com and you can you get go. it off of that calendar. Yeah. And, and for those who are still in the fence about learning being helpful, I'll give you a quote from a, a famous baseball player. He was a 12-time All-Star and the National League MVP. And Barry Larkin, he was asked what was the secret to his success for, to get him into the Hall of Fame. He said, what most people don't understand is that professionals are sensational at the fundamentals. You learn the basics and you, you, you keep repeating it over and over again until you have it down right and you don't ever have to think about it again. It's just reflexive. <laughs> That's a great quote to send us out, isn't it? Absolutely. And so on that note, we will see you all next week. Take care, everybody. Yeah. And thank you. And you're learning, right? Happy Grammar Day.